Hello, I'm Josef Kershka and I'd like to present you the key points of our paper on automatic network determination, where we try to make the nodes of a positioning network estimate their own positions in a distributed fashion. In order to estimate the position of a user device, also known as a tech, the knowledge of positions of the infrastructure nodes, the anchors, is required. Take, for example, an ultra-wide positioning network installed on a floor of an office building. In ultra-wide networks, the anchors are static and their position is surveyed, for instance, with total stations. This process is tedious, time-consuming and gets only worse the larger the area the network covers is. Fortunately, the anchors are capable of accurate distance measurements, so we can use their mutual distances to estimate their positions using multilateration and automate the surveying process and let the network do the work on its own. This can be done with a consensus subgradient algorithm where each anchor measures distances to its neighbors, updates the position estimates and shares them until the network reaches consensus. This is repeated until the estimation vector converges. The algorithm, however, does not scale well since the estimation vector contains positions of all the anchors and such information is not really necessary. In our paper, we propose a dimension reduction modification, the neighborhood CSG, so that each anchor estimates only position of itself and its neighbors. This solves the issue of scaling as the algorithm complexity depends only on the size of the neighborhood instead of the whole network while maintaining the positioning accuracy. Now, what is it good for? This approach enables a quick and automatic network setup which can be leveraged by autonomous exploration robots or first responders. The algorithm is also useful for networks without a central computing node where the position estimation is done at the user's end. Finally, it can serve as a sanity check to detect misplaced or failing anchors. And this brings us to the end of this video. In the paper, we further investigate different methods of the step length coefficient computation in the subgradient update step and the impact of initial conditions, that is the known anchors, on the results. So if you are interested, we kindly invite you to read the paper. Also, if you have any questions or remarks regarding the paper or our work, feel free to contact us or have a look on our ORCID profiles. Thanks for watching.